Hello, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome to a tutorial for Empyrean Galactic Survival. This tutorial is current to the Alpha Early Access release on Steam, and as such, gives you some tips and some changes to the game that aren't featured in other tutorials. So I hope you'll stick with it, listen in, learn some tips for surviving. Today we're going to be looking at surviving the very first day of your crash landing in a strange world. Uh, in the distance, I'm pretty sure that's the spaceship we were supposed to be in. It obviously has crashed into the ground and we're in an escape pod. It is not doing too well. It's pretty banged up. You can probably see a few dents here and there. So we have to worry about surviving. First things first, controls. Basic wazard controls apply. Whizzle, whizzle, whizzle. Space gives you a jump. J turns on jetpack, which gives you a little bit of a temperature boost there up into the air. And shift helps you run, run around, very exciting stuff. In the bottom left, you can see stats. Oxygen will go down, food, stamina, they go down. Health goes down if you're wounded. So we have some problems here. The oxygen or the atmosphere on this world is not breathable. And we're going to have to do something about that. We're going to have to start making some oxygen. So let's check out our craft. First things first, it has containers. You can access them with T. And you can take stuff out of them. In this case, these planty things grow boxes and lights. I'm going to leave them there. Don't need them right now. We'll have them for our base. These resources we need to steal. Arrow key there will do that. Coming around the ship. We have more boxes over here. So grab all the loot from those two. And like that. And now let's go and have a look here at these oxygen tanks. These oxygen tanks supply air to the uh, to the craft. If you're inside the craft, you can get inside by pressing D, you'd live on oxygen in those tanks. If you're low on oxygen, walking up to here will use oxygen to fill up your oxygen meter. You don't want to do that unless you are very low, because it will use an entire tank to fill up just a slither of oxygen, and that's not much fun. So, we have resources. Now what are we going to do? Around here, we have an empty fuel tank, and I can put in some fuel. I'm going to put all of it in for now. And then... I have a constructor here, but it is off. Let's turn it on. The most fun way to turn it on is to hop back in the cockpit, press Y and on goes the ship. And you can see information in the bottom right about you know, how how much uh, fuel it's gonna take and to, to run for a certain amount of time and all that kind of stuff. So let's get on with it. We open this constructor because that's the gateway to getting a whole bunch of things made for us. We open this constructor with T gonna put all of our resources so I'm shift clicking on these devicey things here now I can get processing so it's really the first thing to do is to produce a bunch of fuel 10 should do the trick the next thing I want is to queue up some other items so I'm gonna queue up 10 of these and on the right it tells you output count so 10 of those middle pieces will output a hundred middle bits I'm gonna need some electronics. I'm gonna queue up 10 of those. Cables, 10 of those. Metal components, 10 of those. That should give us enough to get going. And while we're here, let's queue up some bits and bobs. We are going to want a weapon and assault rifle. Very helpful. We're going to want a repair and remove tool. This thing is what, let me just see if it is cables, yep. This is the thing that will help us tear down structures like our crashed pod. We don't really need it to sit there. We can use those resources, so let's tear it down with a repair tool. Next thing we need to worry about is ammunition for these two bits. Uh, we need a ton of metal pieces for uh, some bullets. We need 6.8 mil. Um, I'm going to go with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That'll be 10 sets of 25 rounds, which is great. And I also want a bunch of repair charges. Two of those should do the trick. That'll fuel our repair tool and allow us to tear down things. Now, bunch of fuels here. Let's take half of it. And we want to take that and the oxygen generator and run down to the beach. Let's leave that running. Okay. So the beach is this way. Sprinty sprint. And with the oxygen generator, we can chuck that in the water and, well, you should be able to figure out the rest. It cracks the water into its component bits and we're able to gather the oxygen 
for our suit and for our uh, spaceship. If you press V, you can see that you are a burly spaceman running into the water seductively. So pop that in there, press 3 and place it. Um, needs to be underwater, that'll do the trick. Press T and shift click will load all of our fuel into it. Oh, no it won't, it loads it all there, great. Let's just drag it like that. Okay. Gonna save one. Always like to save a bit of fuel and a bit of oxygen just in case something goes disastrously wrong and I need to fuel something up. So that'll produce a lot of bottles of oxygen for us. We'll come back some other time and worry about that once it's done its trick. You may be thinking, what are we gonna do about food? As you can see, there's a food meter. Well, thankfully you have some rations. Bottles of water, just leave those. They're useful for our food production. Small med kit, we may need that. Uh, drill charge, we can just leave there. Other bits and bobs we'll sort out shortly. So let's get back up to here. If you're worried about the creatures around here, don't be too worried. Shouldn't be anything worrisome around the base. If you see anything with lots of legs, yeah, that's when you need to get worried. Usually a pretty good rule for life, isn't it? More than a few legs, kill it. Not many legs, don't kill it. So here, I'm gonna shove some stuff back in this box. I don't really, I'm gonna leave that repair filter flat until there. I'm gonna chuck away the spare pistol. I'm about to make a assault rifle, so I don't need it. I don't need the ammunition. I don't need the water. I'm gonna use that for farming some other time. The core I don't want on me right now. Flashlight and light, well, we can leave those there. Okay, now how's our factory doing here? Ticking along, it's made a ton of bits. Now we just have to wait. So I'm gonna wait for all those to complete. If you notice that things aren't completing, then uh, just check what's missing. You can see it on the right, and then make sure you build a couple more. Okay, so things are producing. Uh, I've got an assault rifle. Gonna chuck it in slot three. I have got some rounds ticking along here, not a great number. Got a repair and remove tool and we're definitely gonna need that. I'm going to show you how we can uh, speed things up a little by uh, you know, changing this queue here. What I'm gonna do is turn that to off, and now I can adjust the queue, shift clicking or clicking as required. Turn it back on, and pick up my remaining sets of rounds. Chuck them there in the inventory. I ideally wanna be getting about oh, maybe 200 rounds, 150 at the minimum. That's gonna take a while. So we will do that another time, first of all. Let's get this part complete and talk about what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Okay, as the final charge goes along there, I am going to, should just, should just be able to walk away with that. I think that'll do. I'm gonna reload our repair and remove tool and show you how that works. It's pretty cool. So, ammunition in the bottom right should tick along. It's got a bunch of charge. Now, when I click, I can, tear this craft apart and as you'll see I'm gonna slowly start accruing plate which is pretty cool so click 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 be careful it's easy to over over strip stuff back not so helpful and that plates gonna be a really great way to kickstart our uh, base development because we're gonna get a whole bunch of free metal resources come here you Right click will repair, not what we want to do right now. And come on foot, Ugh, worry about that another day. Tear the nose off this thing. If you want to, you can strip the whole craft back in due course. Uh, you can recover this craft to use it as a spaceship, up to you. I like to strip off all this extra metal because early on in the game, it's really helpful. Whole bunch of free metal. I'm gonna chuck that in the constructor for use another time. Okay, with those rounds complete, pretty much done for day one. Everything you need to worry about is uh, un in hand now. We have bits and bobs of fuel, which I'm gonna build a bit more of. We have oxygen supply. We have uh, food. Still got plenty there and don't need much. Let's go top off our oxygen. Topped off. Okay, that'll do the trick, right. I've been Tiny Pirate.
stay cool.